Hey, I just need to do a little narration, sorry, just for a few pictures here. Um, if you haven't been following me for a long time, you're probably going to be lost during this video. It's really cool, though. Um, you'll see this picture. I want you guys to really look in this video. Something's up there. I felt the resistance. It was weird. I just kind of moved on. I didn't really see it, but I knew that area was weird and had poop pushed down the side of it, and it was the only thing in the cave that had like a nest. Something was in there. I'm hoping one of you guys gets it better for me. It's not really what I do. I try not to focus on seeing them because they know that. That way I can see them more. Um, so enjoy, you guys. It's a long video because I go into the caves and then I explore outside the caves. I find amazing footprints, really long stride footprints on the path with a quartz rock just sitting right next to the footprints. It's so weird. A really weird looking rock that someone just placed there. So it's a good video, it's a long video, but like I said, if you haven't followed me for a long time, you're probably not going to completely understand this. Over and out. Alright, I'm back again. That's for that one. Nobody knows. Everyone sees that and they go over there. See? That one's got some secret little cabins. There's also one above, and then there's one that nobody knows about. You can't see it. It's, it goes straight down into the ground. Someone's been through here out. where I'm I've walked. Walk you all the way in. See that? But there's some breaks in there that are pretty amazing. So it's almost like some As you can see, stuff you know, pushed over from people like these on the ground. And then to the left, bent, more bent. into the bushes, there's these incredible oh, yeah, this is the secret entrance. right angle breaks. Oh, the secret entrance. You can't see this either. This is how it came out. Oh man, is it cold and dark in here. Here we go. Anybody home? Oh, there was something sliding down right there. I would love to know what was dragged through this cave. You'll see it in a minute. If you could run out of there before I walk in, that would be great. <laughs> What is going on here? I don't know if the camera can see. Something. I can only picture Someone's like a mountain lion on their butt. dragging a kill. Well. It's the, the only thing it could be. Slid. All the way down there. Someone's been in here before. Where is it? I don't think that water bottle is from a person. No, do I they put these things there. It's right in the middle. No one just threw that there. In this cave. These people out here. I honestly have no idea. I don't. Or come in they don't do that. I don't know. That's too often. I'm it's so you here. think someone's been here before. That's what it's about. Someone may have, but that's what they do. I find There's it in the teepees too. It's not a nest. It's like. I need you guys to tell me it's not for another it's minute or two, but. And I'll I'll remind you, but. Something I think is up there. It's not moving. It's just staring so at me. I got right here, you guys, and I lost my mind in this corner. I couldn't see, but I just got the weirdest feelings about it. Like something was like tucked down in there. It was probably just me. It does go keep going back, but you'd have to be like, you see, right there, right there, it drops down and it goes into another, another level. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta go in there? You gotta be kidding me. Stay out or stay alive. That's no fun. Look at that back there, you guys. I'm glad I brought it because you can't really see I just flashed that white guy because that's what I picture in here. Black this right is now. nothing to do with what we're going to see here in a second. Now how far, oh my god, it goes down there, it takes a right and goes that way. I'd have to crawl on my stomach right here to get there. And you know I would? If I saw anything right there, just give me like a stick, I see one stick there, but it's like a root. Any reason at all to go in there, I would. You guys have seen that tunnel thing when that thing looks around the corner? You ever see that? I think that's real. You guys, there's a lot of space back there. 
That's open, open space back around that corner. That's not my picture. I don't know why I keep doing that, but that's what I picture being in here. All right, sorry. Believe me, I faked how bad I just hit my head. I was way back in there, and I hit my head somewhere right, right there on one of those corners, and man, did that hurt. I couldn't even get the camera off. I'll leave it on there. I won't even edit that so you can see I'm, like, struggling to get the... <clears throat> Don't be an idiot. So I can get my uh, <clears throat> get my senses. I, I hit it's so hard. I thought it was like a little higher. It's so dark. All right, so that goes down and keeps going. To me, that's interesting. I think anything that lives in these types of caves are probably not Sasquatch. I think they're. <clears throat> I don't want to freak people out, but those other types, like the scary things, you know. I think some of that works, you know, some of the, the, the tales and, you know, and the, the theories, like if it's eerie in there, it's probably an eerie person, you know, an eerie type of being. One of those, uh, I'm going with the strobe light on. <laughs> Look at that. It's trippy. Tripping man. Look at that. That's annoying. That was SOS. You want to look very carefully. You know, one thing you'll hear about, you know, if you just listen to stuff like, you know, I do go outside of the realm of Bigfoot. You have to, guys. I study everything. Right? I got to go back and look at some of these holes. It, you know, and, and they'll tell you, you know, whether you want to believe it or not. I don't think in this type of a cave, but the caves that they do use to get into. And you better believe other entrances I'm going around that corner. That cave and then there'll be a door here. But they hide the door so you would never know it's there. Whether it's done, and, and they have, they said some some humans have found them actually, and it's a bad thing if you find one, do not go in. That's what they say. I can go in, <laughs> but you shouldn't go in. I'm just kidding. I, I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna go anyway because life's boring and that's exciting. Well, that goes back there too. Yes, you gotta look really carefully. I just hope nothing comes up out of there. I don't see any. I light on you. I don't see any like. It's because those things walk like spiders. Animals in here. What a great place to. It goes way, way back up there. That was gypsum falling right, on my I head. See scat right there. See if we can zoom with the. Wait till I zoom into that little hole. Little piece of poopy right there. There's actually a couple pieces right there. And what I am seeing there is a bunch of stuff that shouldn't be there, like all that stuff. See right there? Is it just a rock that has two white eyes? What is that? You know, mommy's going to give birth or whatever. I don't think so, though. I mean, maybe temporarily, because if it's if it's a home, typically with animals or smaller animals, they'll have, um, you'll see, they actually will, they will not poop in their inside their dwelling so um they usually have multiple entr entrances and exits and the, you'll see in an exit a lot of times they push all their poop out um i've seen that before where like smaller like like foxes or mountain lions will push all the poop out you guys if you and can bear like this with this video because i go I see that in pennsylvania all the time beyond like i go way back and so i think i really see, figured you know, this place no out in a no sense scat, not enough no footprints i gotta go with that's just a cool looking place. Like, it's a cool cave. Now, what is, the question is, and I have like a really nice jacket on right now, so I'm just not gonna crawl on my belly and I think I should have someone with me when I go in there. Um, I don't get scared like that, you guys. As long as, you know, I could get in there and stuff, I'm fine with going back there. I wanna go in there and turn the corner because that, that's to me is what will, will be the ultimate. Let's ultimate rephrase thing. that. As long as I have There's a flashlight, if I can't see, back, like, let's see goes I'm back. more scared than any of you, probably. I'm scared yeah, of the they're dark. They're not going to leave the evidence out here that's going to make you want to go back there. And maybe they don't come out that much. Things like that. You know, things we don't know about. It's not common sense. That's six inches to me. I remember seeing that. You know, so what I'm trying to say is if I went in there, turned that corner there, and went that way, because that's, believe it or not, right there, I can't zoom, but right there, it's really open. You could you could stand all the way up and walk that way. 
So to me, turning that corner. You guys, when I do these videos, I feel like I'm doing this for like 200 people. If I think about from here, it could be thousands. It's it wouldn't work. Really. There's something up there too. There's more of that nest stuff in there. It could be birds. You know, I don't know. Probably birds. <laughs> You know, I want it to be some being so bad, but I will never lie to you guys if, if I think it's not. All right, long video. Over and out. Hey, real quick, I'm just walking out of here. Perfect example of what I was just talking about. It's a small scale. See here? It's like a mouse, cave mouse. He lives right in there somewhere. He lives right in there and you can see he's what he's doing is he's pushing the poop. So he'll come here, poop, and then when they want to, they spend time, they'll go like this. And then he makes sure his poop falls, and that's exactly what's happening. So he he's definitely living in there. Little moss cave. You can see all the sticks in there. And then there's a hole back there that goes straight down. Whoa. See here, too. See what he's doing? He's coming out here. He probably even comes to here sometimes. Does his poopies here and then goes back in. And it is a good example because, it, you know, the bigger um, creatures basically do the same types of things. It's instinct. No one wants to sleep in their poop. And there's some of your, uh, what do we call that? Who remembers? Your, your trivia question for the day. Look at that stuff. It's like, it's just dust. Look at that. It's called gypsum over now. Okay, no big deal. I wanted to just show you really quick. You can see people do come here, but it looks like dog walkers. You guys, the video has been too long. So I took this clip out right before this, but I was tracking this mountain line up the hill. I have the best prints. You saw me. They're everywhere, but it was actually kind of boring. It was cool to see the prints, and then it was boring. So we started talking, and they're a really nice couple. So I forgot your guys' names, but if you're watching, hey, they're my next-door neighbors. So not, nothing really to look at here. Let's see. Now, the, here's the, the crazy part, you know. Here's your human trail, right? Trees are looking eerie. We know we know there's activity on these hills. Like, you guys, we have the pictures of them up there. Amazing there, part about this on, on top of my hill is it just looks like there's nothing there. to look at over there. But they they are in here. It's just that with when, when you know they're out of our thinking like they are, it just doesn't work for me unless I'm seeing the evidence. Like I want to see their structures. I want to see X's. I want to see some signs of them in some way or another. A little pile of rocks. Give me something. Or I'm not going to waste my time because, you know, that's that's how we know about Bigfoot and, and, and the forest beings is that they leave evidence. Could this be a wallow? Yes, it could. But I don't know. Let's see. This is all to block there. the hole back there that you still can't see visual, actually. with caves. I do have a little bit of an X there. But it's not good enough for me. The only thing that makes that X good enough, in a sense, is check this out. It's got, it's blatantly an X, right? That's a leaner there. It was put there, rested on that, comes up, and what does it become? A fork, right? It goes up, and then it rests right there. And then the one at the bottom hits that, leaves from that, but the bottom of the X that way and goes up and ties in there. So to me, and then there's a double twist right there. To me, that's pretty good. It's it's a good sign that something went on here for a couple days when I don't know though, because it's just not enough for me. There's no permanent. Oh, wow. Are they blocking this cave hole? There's a cave back here. Give me a second. All right, so this is pretty interesting back here. There's an old tarp under there. Things do look a little blindy, like they're trying to, you know, really twist it up, stop. Look at that, still attached to each other. 
right? And it, it, it's, there's, there's like this ravine that goes that way. And then there's some kind of a hole over here. It's a hidden hole. You could not see this from the path. I'm not going to go down there because look. Actually, maybe I will because look in the corner. I got to take a peek. There's a hole there. I got no... You can't tell. It's much steeper going down into that than this video shows. I, there's no way I could have got down without sliding on my butt. Right, forget it. I'm not going down there. It's just too hard. The best part is I'm close. I live close. This is easy. I can do it, but I'll end up definitely sliding. You guys, there's no doubt that Please. tree is go. blocking that hole and those holes. Remember, this is out of our thinking. I, you know, you expect to see traffic out of there, but it's not how it works. There's like a cave right there somewhere. I think it was right there. I'm almost sure. Right there. Oh, it was such a vocal type of whistle. My favorite is, I've been hunting for 30 years. I have never seen a Bigfoot. It's just an amazing thing to me. Of course you haven't seen a Bigfoot. You were hunting. You don't understand what these creatures are. They know you don't understand it and would never show themselves to you. And if you knew one thing about a structure, you would have probably seen them or heard them or something. video, they don't seem very Sasquatchy to me. I was thinking one way we could tell about that first spot is maybe look in this spot. Like There's so much the evidence of them in here. Wait till you see. You, you, you can't see it, though. There's just no way from this little path to my right. There's no way to see anything unusual. I'm not showing you mind-blowing stuff. I'm showing you some of the things I do. Today's a little different because I'm doing it across the street. And I filmed it somewhere else today for hours. Well, I was driving there for hours. And I took some video there. Let's go see what this looks like. No, just give me something weird. And there it is. Why, why? Why, why can't it not have this? Because they do it. You see this? They did that. This is why, follow this up. You can, it's so busy, you're not, I'm not even gonna show you. It's all twisted together. Oh, this is pretty good. So look here. It looks old. Definitely a pile of wood there. Oh yeah, look at this, you guys. I'm telling you, they're different here. They're watching. I have goosebumps all of a sudden. I haven't got goosebumps with these guys in like a long time. Look. I think that first place was legit. Because they're not big Sasquatch making big seats or like these other things. Look. Don't quote me. I don't know. Field goal. Okay. Field goal. Insanity. Bend. You see that? This is actually a better video for a lot of people because... Look carefully. More people have woods like this type of situation. See, it's a V. Those plush green high mountain forests. No big deal, but when incorporated I'm with these you, other things, it is a big deal. Without what I've been doing for three years... I would never have seen this place in a million years. I would never have known. And you just got to look at their signs. Like, I'm 100%. I wasn't on that last spot. I am on this. Because it mostly that bend is just incredible. It goes all the way down into the ground. There was some kind of a pile up of wood here. Um, this could be an older situation, what it looks like to me. I do see a couple human cuts, but it doesn't really mean much because there's a tr they're about 50 years old and there's a trail there. Let's keep going this way. Ah, yes, look at this. There's a seat right there. You see this? It's just too blatant. I got a, the craziest whistle up there on the ridge. I zoomed in on the boat, I don't know. It might have been that little cave up there, too, to the right. There's like a slit. He sits right I gotta there. walk up there one day. Who would have thought right here? See this all? It 
doesn't look like all the time. But there's no doubt it's all their stuff. I'm gonna keep following this ravine. It's gonna be dark soon. Uh, I'm only 10 minute walk to the car, 15 minute walk. Um, let, me, let me not waste your time, let me get over here. You guys, this gets better and better and better, watch. That's impossible, right there. It's not possible. It's a, it's a triangle, trust me. That's a triangle. I say trust me a lot, but it's just more of like an expression than it is really trust me, because you should be trusting me automatically. Look at this. If you've watched me for a long time, you should know by now that I don't mess around. Look. I always tell you, I tell you, I tell you why I tell the truth always. Not just to be a good person, but one of the main truths. Well, I would never lie to you anyway. I really wouldn't, but if I wanted to lie, like make up a lie to somebody, I can't because I won't remember it. <laughs> I won't remember. So I have, if you're always honest, guys and girls, think about this. Just always be honest in your life no matter what. It's so much easier because then you can never get caught. <laughs> That's why I'm always honest. Look at this. Yes, this is fascinating. It's like witchy. Do you see how that branch is holding that? It was like it was made to be there. This is tough. This is the eerie stuff. So you have to really look at it. Do you guys see what's going on here? All right, this, this lighting works better. You see how that meets up there? Look at that. I almost killed myself in here about 10 times. Look at that. Yes, this is awesome. Look at this. I like the eerie stuff on the eerie days. It's like dark and like fall and I guess it's winter or whatever it is. And it's just like a perfect. This is a perfect place to be, like a Halloween day. Do you, do you guys see what I'm seeing? It's really hard to tell, but this is all one giant, huge structure right there. And even with this tree. And all these two. I got caves behind me. I know. I know what this is. You want to know what it is? This is where they come once in a blue moon. They've got it marked. They're up there. They're up in these things. They live in these these caves into this mountain. They can just soak in like a sponge. I, I don't know how they do it, but they, they're in there. I got the whistle from above. I know what this is. This is just like the front lawn. That's all it is. is they come down here when they want to be outside. Blatant. You see this? Perfectly parallel. Remember, I say you can put your beer on it. Blatant. It's a blocker. Structure land. You guys look. Everything in there is field golded and bent. That thing is field gold and then bent that way. It's a spot they come out of there. It's those types of creatures that live in the caves and stuff. I'm, I'm guessing like, I mean, we got timestamps, but I think these dudes are like in the ground. Everything changed when I got here. They had that first wallow. There's holes that go into the ground there. You know, like maybe they came out once a month or something. Unbelievable. Sorry, I had to run up that. Couldn't deal with it. I think I got that spot, but it looks so interesting from your eyes. All right. I'm probably done here for the day. I think I gotta come way back here one day. Nice bend. Keep in mind, the thing was nice and protected and up there. It had to be pulled down. It's the only way. Where does it point? Right into all the stuff I just came from. I'm telling you, 
I'm not getting vibes from them. This isn't them telling me. I'm just telling you my, it just clicked that that's what this all is. This is if they want to, they don't want to be in there. They come out here and just, the kids can run around, they whatever, bend some trees. I have a feeling there's more time spent up there. See, look, this is really cool. Here's why I want to go up there. No matter where I look, I got my outline and they're going always. I don't know what they call them, mountain lions. It's more of a hill, on a, we're, uh, I'm already at 7,500, so these are hills on mountains. <laughs> but you can tell, his den is not far. He goes up the same freaking path every time. And somewhere up there is a den, and I'm gonna find it. Maybe not today, but I'm going. One of my things, it's just a passion of mine, not really a passion, it's just something I really wanna do, is get, is get close and personal at a mountain lion den, very respectively. There's prints everywhere. You're hearing that plastic bottle that I picked up in the cave. It's leaking in my pocket. It was upside down leaking 40 year old water into my pocket. I don't think it was that old, but. Like I always say, here's the human pass, see how I come cutting back? Like I always say, just trust me on this, okay? It's, it's, there's something going on here. I want to know what. It's up there. I know to go up there. You can see how far I've come. I mean, I'm up here. I'm not showing you where I live way over there. It's so unbelievable, you guys, up there. That's one, that flat top right there, I'm dying to get to that. It's almost impossible. Let me do a zoom there. Expecting much, but a lot of snow up there. It's more snow than you think. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's probably close to six inches up there. I've been following these for a while. They're impossible to tell for sure. They're footprints. I just don't know. I think that they're Bigfoots. <laughs> they're stride. Look at the stride, you guys. So here's what the next one's right there. Okay, watch. I'm not even joking. That's the stride. I don't know if you can see it. I have to hold the camera funny. I can barely split my legs that far. And then boom, and then it's slowed down here. It slowed down, slowed down, and then it kind of disappears, and there's another one, and then the next stride again is long. It's like he was running stop for a second. These are really good, actually, right here. So you can see them, I'm looking on the camera. They look close together, they're not. Look at it. So one figure just over three feet um, on, the, on the smallest stride. That's pretty good. You know, I'm way up here. I don't think people come up this far that often anyway with the dogs because it's usually women and they don't want to go too far. That's a little unusual. Is that quartz? It's just sitting there. It's got a nice little divot in it. I wonder how that got there. Yeah, it might seem silly, but it's not. How did that get there? Something, somebody put that in the middle of the, the path. That's all I know. I got mountain lions and Bigfoots all over the place here. This is interesting to me. So what do you guys think? Do you think my theory is right? I'm telling you, it hit me like a ton of bricks. That stuff I was showing you down in there, those structures, the eerie, like witchy stuff, I swear, I think they live in there. 
in, 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 in like in that cave that I went into. It might even be in that one, but one's just like it. Some one of those caves. It's, they don't just go in those caves, guys, and sit there in the back corner. Okay, they have other. They lead to real places, like a real underground existence somewhere. I'm not saying a city, but I think in some cases, yeah. I don't think here, but I think there's you know like like huge underground places. There's no doubt about it, you guys. It's all our heat comes from down there. I mean, it's something's going on underground in some places. And I'm pretty sure, by the way, you guys, feel cool because pretty soon, it might be 10 years, but may, probably less, pretty soon, all of this is gonna be, they're, they're gonna disclose everything, okay? I know, okay? I have connections, let's put it that way. They're gonna disclose all of this. Aliens, believe it or not, I think even, here's the tough one. Time travel technology, like they're gonna, in 2000, almost 2030, they're gonna tell us about all this stuff because it's, we're gonna, gonna we, people like me, you know, people like you, like people, there's too many of us at that point, and we, we know, we've caught too much, we have too much evidence, and we demand, basically, I think is what happens. And they disclose, like, all of this stuff. And even an alien species, as far as I know. Like a new one that no one knows about. And apparently they're very similar to us, and, and, and one day they end up, I think they're going to end up living here, because their planet dies. They crash land in our oceans, and we save some of them, and they end up as a part of us. It's crazy. Not Pete, they're very like us, but they're, I think they have like extra muscles and things like that. I know it sounds crazy, but stick around. We'll see how crazy I am. I have so much video from today, I don't think this will even make it in there, but uh, so there's that first tree, right? Just how everything's a little bit weird, and I was just questioning, except for like some of the X's and some of the outskirts, like just some of it's a little suspicious to me, and there's an X right there too. It's just witchy. And I just wanted to make the point that, you know, yeah, it's, it, although it's questionable, with the exception of an X's and some little things, and then there's a giant hole with two huge cave entrances behind it, <laughs> back there, um, that it's just too snowy to get into right now. Um, it, why is it there? Why is all the stuff there, right? So, because there's these trees everywhere. There's spots like that everywhere, like this, like these the same exact trees. I'm talking, you know, within 100 feet of each other. And there's nothing wrong with one of those trees. Not even the smallest branch is broken. And these, these are out in the wind, out in the open. Not one branch is broken off of there. Actually, there has been one, look. Okay, so one branch. And then this is just utter devastation. And there is walking, see it? it it's not like you know, dirt, but it's it's definitely been walked. It could be game, but there's there's something's hanging around in there. Same thing, all the way up there for like 100 yards, it's all structures and it's in front of, because it's in front of their homes. It's in front of that mountain. Same thing up there. When I was up here, I found even bigger patches of that on this side, just right across this path. And there's nothing, It's everything is perfect. So I think that's a good point to make, is that as you can see, there's nothing wrong with these trees. Nothing's bent. These are naturally a little bit eerie trees as it is. I forget what they're called. Someone will tell me. Um, I'm pretty good with the tree names, but I forget what those are. Isn't that, I mean, come on. It's a little unusual, right? Nothing <laughs> away from their areas is, is touched. And then everything near the mountain is utter devastation and has X's and, and structures. I thought that was interesting. What is that? What about that little people nest? <laughs> Swiss, what do I call it? Swiss family little people? Yes, it's all real. By the way, Brian, you just sent me the same pic. Brian found the same thing. He's got like a nest. Brian, I don't even, I didn't ask you, but I don't even think you saw that with your own eyes. Same thing, when the nest is there, it's cloaked. Okay, yes, you've heard it here, folks. These little people have cloaking nests over and out. One more little point, I walked up there earlier and there's this really big giant wide hole up there. 
and it goes down. And what it looks like is it's collapsed. So what I think is there's a, that cave I went is down there. So in here, there's these giant inside caverns. And once in a while, whoop, it just gets sucked in because it just collapses inside the cavern. And there, there's inside giant places in there. I'm telling you, they know. It, trust me. If you, if you what's it called when you like a seismograph, whatever it is, when you when you can when you can uh, you know pulse the ground. We do it for fracking. You know, like you just. I'm telling you, they'll see the gaps in those mountains. Like, there's no doubt. I'll bet you everything in the world I can that if you just got the right mission equipment, you'll see that there's giant open places inside these mountains. It's. I mean, it's factual because they keep collapsing inward occasionally, which means there's voids inside. We were getting them in here, like I was on the road and they're in places like this, like like on their knees, like in here. These things are so deceiving, you know, you never know. Like there's a little spot, you know? I'm not saying it is, but it could be, you know? Like you just would never think it here. But I was leaving here and they were all in these bushes after I got out of the caves. You can believe that? You don't have to believe it. I don't even care. Also, I just want you guys to enjoy these, these, uh, some of these videos. Maybe not this one, but I think it was cool today. I was very happy to come out and do this. And I just wanted to say hello to everybody before I go to the petroglyphs. Over and out. I hope everyone has a great weekend. It's uh, Saturday. So by the time you see the video, it'll probably be, you'll be thinking about work, unfortunately. All right, bye.